wonder, do I have enough skill points? I do! Okay, level 10, here I am. Hey! Hey! Evie did it first. <laughs> Just for the record, Jacob. Just for the record. Okay. For the record. Oh. I gotta stop it. Oh, I thought we were Jacob. No. It wouldn't let me. In the middle of the mission. Yeah. Ooh. That ass. No. What? Cookies. Cookies. Cookie. 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 Yay. Is it done? Please. We have to do the gang war, but then yeah. Uh, okay. Gang war. Gang war. The gang is down Stop, no more. Stop, Jesse. Yeah. You already made a joke about that. I know, but it's a good song. No, it's. Jesse. It's a classic. A classic. <laughs> Look at what she's changing. Alright, let me see here. Do I have anything level 10 yet? No, it must be crafted. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. That's the best I can get there. Must be crafted. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Speaking of crafts, I might get my sewing machine fixed so I can, like, make shit again. Your cosplay? <laughs> no. Um, I used to make, uh, heat buddies. That was my first business that I, I had as a kid. I was always, like, an entrepreneur. My mom knew I was gonna do good shit. Cause, like, she was never worried about me. I was always, like, doing business adventures of some kind. And, um... Ventures, not adventures. Well, no, everything's an adventure if you think about it. I'm gonna call them business adventures now, cause that's a funner name. Um, but I used to make these things called Heat Buddies. There are lots of, like, incarnations of them, but mine was, um, it's like a tube-like thing that's full of rice. You know, it's cloth full of rice, and you put it in the microwave, and it heats up, and then you can put it on your shoulders, um, to warm up your neck if you have a sore neck. Uh, or you can put it on your feet at night if your room is cold and you need something to keep you warm. Uh, you can also put it in the, the fridge or the freezer and then use it as a cooling one, uh, so... Yeah, I might be doing that again. I, I would just sit in my basement and just mass produce them. Oh, you know? I just sit in the basement and masturbate. masturbate. Uh, that too, but no, I would sit there and just <laughs> the pump way you them said out. That. <laughs> Master. Okay, you the know what? There's nothing movie. sexual about what I'm talking about. Okay, so just shut up. Anyway, I would sit there pumping it out, just hours and hours, and like so, so much everywhere. It was great. So, here's an embarrassing but fun fact about my life. I don't know. I think I might have told you this one. I didn't know how masturbating worked <laughs> until... Oh, yeah, I know the story. Yeah, eighth grade, some guy in my homeroom was making that gesture, you know, the fapping gesture. Little faps. Was it little faps? <laughs> he knew you in high school. And he was making the gesture, and he was smiling at me. I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking? What are you, what? He was a weird kid. And I'm like, "What? what the I fuck? think he was hitting on you, dude." And I'm like, "What the yeah. fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing?" And he says, "Yeah, do you do you do that?" And I'm like, "What the fuck? What? What? Uh, what? Who asked that? Why would you want to know? Like, like an eighth one, grade. Like, I mean, now that's what I'm thinking. But like back yeah. then, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I think I put two and two together I after like a week. <laughs> I think you stood a chance against the bludger. Oh my god! So you there never like in your way, not until eighth grade, I guess. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not like that, I suppose. Not with a hand. What you fucking want? And that is as far okay. as we're going well, on that story. Gone. Okay. Ah! We're we're just trying to see what we could possibly do to lose our entire audience. <laughs> We've got political, we've got sexual, we've Male got... masturbation, I mean. Nothing is grosser than a dude I'm touching his locker meat. Jesse, look, it's a gang war, and I'm progressing it into, like, the current century, where it's just a bunch of shooting people. <laughs> wow, that was so easy. All right. Cool. We did it. We did it! Yay, Namisima! We no, did no, no, stop, 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 no, 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 We shot some I am guys. so glad that Dora the Explorer was not a thing until after both my sister and I were not age-appropriate for yeah. it anymore. 
Thank God, because that would have been obnoxious as hell. I guess I didn't see it either. I think I watched it like... Like, I knew about it. Uh, knew, yeah, exactly. I was more Blue's Clues era. Were you? Yeah. No. I will do a little bit of actual plot. Thank you. Fuck. Well, <laughs> with that attitude. <laughs> a thank you fuck. Like one of those, oh, yeah. those sextificate coupons. Oh, hey, look. Know? I wonder how that got there. I don't... I can't wait until I have a girlfriend so that I can... Instead of buying her expensive things, just give her sex certificates and call it a gift. Yes, because the sex with you must be that great. I know. I mean, right? I know how much you brag about how great you are in bed. So good. I'm so great at, at the, you know, yeah, <laughs> like eat hearts and it, it's like, oh my god. This to be is fair, so I'm sure great. that certificate would mean a lot to a lot of people. It would. <laughs> Your fans are kind of weird. I have some work for you. Have some work for you. We're gonna go build a treehouse. It'll be fun. We're gonna go make some sex certificates. Sex certificate, Michael. A sex certificate. More bang for your buck. I've thought God these. Damn it. I've thought these through. Actually, I've thought out the design. I, I, I know. I over prepare. <laughs> well, it's better to do that. Yeah. So when I actually do get a girlfriend in twenty-seven years. Um, and we adopt two cats together. Oh man, that's like half the amount of time I'm expecting it to take me. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping for like when I'm old and drooling that maybe I'll get that, <laughs> the, the Florence Nightingale effect will hopefully, you know, do... Oh, know, he's so hot! Is it Florence Nightingale? No, she's just in this game, so I confused it with that, <laughs> didn't I? It, what, what's the fucking thing? Is it mm, Florence Nightingale? I think it might be. It's like what Marty's mom goes to. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Nightingale Syndrome? I'm gonna go... <laughs> Patients are the doctors falling in love with the patients yeah. syndrome. <laughs> Just Google that and be like, okay, first. Patients, my. <laughs> what? I'm trying to do the okay Google thing and it just searched patients, my. <laughs> Lawrence Nightingale syndrome. Oh my god, it's her? No, no, no. I just said it aloud and it searched Mike, hold on to oh. your dick. <laughs> The Florence Nightingale effect is a situation where a caregiver develops romantic and or sexual feelings for his or her patients. Yeah, so that's it. Yep, that's it. Oh, we met her. I wonder which of her patients <laughs> she's gonna fall in love with. We only The Orphan! No! Oh shit! The, no! The Orphan! That sucks because they can't get married. Orphan. And we know that now. We're learning so much from this game. That's why everybody plays historical fiction, right? Yes. For the accuracy. And to learn who fucked who. Gimme, 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 gimme. Whoop. Thank you. Sorry, sir. Here now. Oh, he's he's stuck on. He's doing that again. No, he's under the car again. No, I'm sorry, sir. It's it's just going so fast that it sucked him up under. We're going a whole like 30 miles an hour, or so. <laughs> if that. Actually, you have to do it in kilometers because we are in Britain. I don't know how to speak kilometers. God, what am I? Not an American? We use the the measurements that everyone uses. It, it, well, it's just us, but we use I think it. There's like one other country that also. Uses one, it. one tiny country probably. Like we're we're stubborn. Away from my dick! Ding, 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 ding. No, sir! For me. Furious! You are Too not joking! Fast. Too furious. Too horse. So horse. Boom, boom. Ah, uh, fuck. Excuse me. Great. Uh -oh. We ran over someone in green. I don't know if that was a rook or not. Might have been. The D! Bye. We passed it. I'm glad we found the D. I get it. <sighs> Come on. I was joking about the sextificates. I would get her an actual gift with them. 
I don't want you to think that I'm cheap. Because I am, but I don't want you to think that. Uh-huh. You're not cheap. So what are you going to get me for Christmas? Shirts? Fifteen dollars each. Get them at a bargain. Shirts mm -hmm. are twenty dollars each, Michael. <laughs> but if you get them at a bargain... I will 15. not. I will not. You want me to get you a minion shirt? I'll fucking do it. I'll get you 12 fucking minion shirts. One for each day of Christmas. Fuck you. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. No, you Michael. To do. Cool. <laughs> That's what you should say to the minion shirts. We were hanging out with Jerry. I think we told that story. I don't know, actually. Did we? We probably did, so we should just not say it. We and then, if we didn't say, say it, anything. then nobody will know what we're talking about. Great. Cool. Like a minion. Ah, fuck. Jerry called a minion cool once. That's the that's, that's the, story. the story, pretty much. And so <laughs> now every time we talk, every time we use the word cool, we're talking about minions. And yes. every time we use the word, every time we talk about minions, we have to use the word cool. One cannot live without the other. Like Harry Potter. Uh, except the opposite. <laughs> well, one must die at the hands of another. Neither can live while the other survives. One minion has to murder another minion. <laughs> That guy was juggling, what a nerd. You should have pushed him over because he's a nerd. He's good at things that we aren't because he's a nerd. Spot of tea! Oh, never mind. Are we buying a spot of tea? No, we're not! This guy's a spot of tea. It's a Jacob mission! Mary. How can you tell? The fact that she disappeared and is turning into her brother? No, because it said Jacob on it. Oh, okay. You know what would be amazing though is instead of them disappearing when they have to switch, they morph, they morph like a morph werewolf. Into each other, yes. <laughs> it's a werewolf thing. The clock strikes and you And hear, then Ooh. they could make I mean, a song be. about them. Shut up. Called the Werewolves of London. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> what a little idea, friend. Oh man, if we wouldn't get in trouble with copyright bots, I could totally play Werewolves of London right now on my phone just, just to make piss it, you off. Make it terrible with Kazoo. Here, Here we go. Here we go. Spot a T. Werewolves. Hit level 10 with him, too. Better hit that. Yeah. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> you can tell where Ash is in my throat. Uh, excuse me, that's what she said. All right. Deep in there. That was a lot of things all at once. <laughs> it was, wow, I'm overpowered with all that information. I feel like purpleized with so much, like, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. This shit just coming out of my mouth. Burps. Burps, burps. Oop. Sorry, man. I have to locate the smuggled cock. Nice. And weapons. Cock ham! My favorite. I hate when your tongue itches. I never get that. Really? Probably. Unless I'm allergic to something. Probably because you, you're not. I don't know where I was going with that. It was probably a sex joke. It's probably amazing, but I stopped because I wanted to spare you the embarrassment of being on the receiving end of it. That's what she said. Hey, is the cock ham in here? Where the devil is it? No. I'm thinking it's not in there. Look at those shoulders, though. He's a werewolf. He's <laughs> part way through. He's, He's actually wearing very similar stuff to what the werewolves in World of Warcraft wear when they're in their human form. Yeah, um, yeah, I remember you. Should, I, I played that for a little bit. Very briefly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you whistling? No, now I did. Oh fuck! He doesn't see me. It's okay. We're good. Ooh. I need to give him the updated stuff since he's uh higher level now too. How did girls go through their periods back then? They didn't well, have, like, blood comes out of the vagina, Jesse. I mean, they don't have pads or anything, right? So, like, what what did they do? Are there, like, medieval tampons that I want to look at and cringe, or...? I don't know. 
Because it's one of those things we don't like to think about. But there had to have... They had to do something. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. I thought he wanted a spot of tea. Let's go push it in the river and start the American Revolution a few years early or whatever. Or maybe... No. Okay, no. This is after the American it's Revolution. It's happened. I know God things... God damn it, Jesse. I know things by Connor. Connor, thank God, is dead by now. <laughs> oh, God. I remember because you go on a mission as Connor, you throw tea into the... the river but um, yes jesse you don't know about the boston fucking tea party i do mike you know about the boston fucking party i like boston cream pie oh, mate, this is cow. it's really a cake so people find my not knowing american history or any history really charming Surgeon? i think this is it hello Now take the crates to be retreated. What did you do? I gotta go there. What a great hiding spot. On top of the roof where everyone can <laughs> see me. With my big top hat. Nice. It's hiding in the big side. Okay, that's what Superman does. Hide in plain sight. <laughs> Shut up. That's the beginning to Assassin's Creed Road. Yes. It's it is. <laughs> Pints of blood. It's a full moon. I'm nervous. Keep my distance. Werewolf assassins. 